So good morning everyone. This um it, we just wanted to do a quick vlog on um our hotel and how easy it is. We've just finished having breakfast at the embassy and the embassy is right here. There we go. That's the Embassy Suites Hotel. And then the Avanti is just here. So like I said in a previous vlog, um, that they don't have uh, a restaurant um, in, not that I know of anyway, in the Avanti. And the Avanti reception is completely separate from the actual hotel block itself. That's right, so if you see here, this is the reception block here. And on to the left, these are all the chalets so essentially what will happen is so with a normal hotel you'll find that you'll go through the reception area and then obviously you go up to your room here you'll go to the reception area then they'll send you off to one of these chalets so we're going to just going to cut through here which obviously you're probably not supposed to do but we're going to do anyway so here we go we're going through here so then that separates us from embassy suites so which embassy is suites there. there and if we turn around Avanti now the Avanti has four blocks what they call blocks so four hotel blocks and they're numbered right. so this is number four, four. and then next to it is number one now Avanti were quite good at fulfilling out requests that I had asked for via email I had asked for some recommendations on um, restaurants yes, um, for my birthday so we could book a restaurant and I also asked them for uh, a room on the uh, second floor which is the British version of the first floor um, here in the US they call the ground floor the first floor and the um, what we call um, the first floor they all they call the second floor because they call the ground floor the first floor so it's a little bit confusing but I already knew this so I had asked for a room on the second floor knowing that I would get a room on the first floor or hopefully would get a room on the first floor however the other request that I made was a block closest to reception and we got the total opposite of that. So while they had fulfilled the um, room on the second floor um, and restaurants to be recommended, they didn't give me a room closest to reception because the rooms closest to reception would have either have been block four or block one. So this is block four that's block one back there is block three so even block three would have been closer than the block that we received so we actually received the furthest block away from reception now here we are look at this this is meant to be so we have the, the, so there are all car parks all around so if you ever bring your car there's plenty of parking spaces Please. however i don't know how it fares in the summertime is our waiting point for when you get the bus for either the Universal Studios or Disney? So, yep, the free shuttle that comes to collect you at uh, various hours of the morning. I think the first one is around 7 or 7.30. Then the next one is around 8 or 8.15. And then the next one is at 10, 10.15. Yeah. And then the last one is around 11.15. And that's for both buses. That's for the um, shuttle that takes you to Universal and the shuttle that takes you to Disney. They're two separate shuttles. Now it's good that it's free because as it's free, like I said, it'll take you there. Getting a taxi back is going to cost you to Avanti about thirty to thirty-five dollars. So you want to try and save. Where you can. Yeah, exactly. And I think from um, Universal, it's around twenty, maybe to twenty-five. Would you say? Yeah, from Universal? Yeah. Maybe slightly less. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's between 15 to 20, depending again on traffic and... Um, and your driver. Yeah, exactly. And whether they turn on the meter, because some of them don't turn on the meters. Anyway, we shall wrap this up and uh, we shall vlog very soon. Okay.